We are our own toughest critics and we can be so hard on ourselves. We want to do better, to be better, and we do our very best to create change. But then what happens when we fall into old habits again? How do you treat yourself when you fall back into old habits? How do you talk to yourself? How do you feel about yourself? Because here's the thing, any type of growth and creating new habits for yourself and creating new versions of yourself, it's all new, right? Your body is not yet programmed to be in that way, to work in that way, to have those automatic habits yet. Our bodies are programmed to be our past selves, right? So why are we so hard on ourselves when we're starting up a new habit or when we're doing things to create this new version of ourselves and we're doing so well, we're doing so well, we're doing so well, and then we slip into an old programming habit. And we're going to get into the action steps of what you can do when you do fall back into old habits, but I first wanna address the mindset aspect of it because what are you making that mean about yourself? when you fall into past programming, old programming, a past version of yourself, when you fall back into old habits, right? What are you making that mean about yourself? That you're a failure? That you're never gonna make this work? That you're always going to be stuck that way? What kind of thoughts are going on in your mind? And just start becoming aware of that. Because if you are attaching to all of this guilt and shame, which so many of us do when we do fall back into old habits, but when you are attaching to these, you are lowering your vibration and you're only creating a more dense circumstance for yourself. Because remember, I mean, lower vibrations, the energy physically vibrates at a slower pace, more like physical matter. Things become more 3D. You kind of close off the infinite possibilities that are out there for you because you're sitting in that low dense vibration, if that makes sense. And I just want you to imagine like your past self, the habits and the version of yourself that you're wanting to step out of, imagine the momentum that is behind this version of yourself, right? Like this cycle is going pretty fast, right? There's all of this momentum behind it. And you're wanting to create this new cycle, okay? But you're like, the momentum is going to start off a little slower because you've got to start taking the momentum from your past self to the new self. Or like imagine it like on a scale, right? You're like way over here on your past self and you're wanting to get to your future self. Right now, you're maybe like here on the scale and the more and more you do these habits to create more of your future self that you're wanting to, you do these habits, but let's say you're still like closer to the side, you might fall back into an old habit. Yeah, it's almost like natural for you to because there is so much momentum behind it. Like I cannot tell you how many times I have fallen back into old habits again and again and again while creating new ones. It's just like a part of the process. Not to say that like you are going to have to struggle so much, but it is very natural to fall back into old habits when you're creating new ones because there is so much momentum behind this past self. Because your body has memorized these ways of being so much and it's so natural for it to be in that state. It does require much more mental and physical and just overall energy to create these new habits because you're going out of this automatic state of being. But then once you create these new habits, then it's the new automatic way of being, then you don't really have to try at all, right? You're just this person until you decide you wanna up level yet again and become a new version of yourself, okay? Because it's a never ending process. But it's not the falling back into the old habits that matter. It's what you do after the fact. Do you beat yourself up over it? Do you tell yourself you're a failure? What are the thoughts that are going on in your mind? How do you physically feel? And when you attach negative emotions to this habit, you are attaching yourself to that habit. And you're able to stay neutral about it and more so observe yourself falling back into an old habit rather than judging yourself. You can then look at it more objectively and say, Okay, it looks like I'm veering a little off of my desired course, like let's get back on, and then bam, you're back on. Then you just keep moving. The faster you're able to get past these little setbacks, the faster you're able to become this next version of yourself, the faster you're able to create these new habits that you're wanting for yourself. And this can be a practice because we get so used to beating ourselves up over everything, right? Don't be hard on yourself for being hard on yourself, okay? But I really want you guys to practice being neutral. <laughs> I'm just laughing at the fact that we feel feelings about the feelings that we feel. Anyway, I want you guys to practice feeling 
neutral about these things and just ask yourself, what are you making it mean about yourself? Because it doesn't mean that you're a failure. It just means that you have a ton of momentum towards this past self and a habit just came up, like an old habit just came up and that's that. It doesn't mean that you're a failure. It doesn't mean that you're not able to become this person. But if you put those meanings onto it, you start to create that undesired reality for yourself. And if you have been really hard on yourself in the past, forgive yourself. I have this video on my channel that talks about a powerful like forgiveness practice. It's an ancient Hawaiian forgiveness technique called Ho'oponopono. Very powerful, really simple too. So um, I do that all the time when I'm needing to forgive myself, others, anything. So maybe try that out if you've been hard on yourself and you want to like forgive yourself because that's how you begin to let go of that negative energetic attachment that you have onto things is when you forgive because when you forgive you let go and when you let go you can just keep moving forward keep staying on the path and keep creating that version of yourself that you want to become because it does not matter how many times you fall off the horse it only matters how many times you pick yourself back up and how fast you pick yourself back up do you fall off the horse and fall down and go, oh my God, what am I gonna do now? I'm off the horse and my horse is running away and what do I do? And then you sit and pout and you cry. Or do you fall off and you go, oh man, I just fell off, let me hop back on real quick. Like don't even think twice about it. Like get in the practice of not even thinking twice about it. Because again, thinking about the momentum like behind the scales, if this is your past self, this is your future self that you're wanting to create and you're like here and you've been doing these little habits, you're like right here and then you fall off the more you beat yourself up, the more you stay behind and you're like, oh no, I fell off and what does this mean about me? And you create stories in your head that push you farther back. Instead of just observing, this is what we really like wanna work on practicing, is observing from like a neutral standpoint and then just taking action from there to just keep going, to just keep moving forward. Because we'll have this little setback but then we'll just keep going and then eventually we'll become this self. But I'm, I've said this before and I'm going to keep saying it. It is, I never say never. So I will say that it is very rare that it's going to be a straight smooth sail to where you're at and where you're wanting to go. It most likely, almost always is going to be, and I'm wa not wanting to like negatively affirm, but this is just how it is because of the way that our programming is but it's often you take a couple steps forward and then you fall back into an old habit and then you take a couple steps forward and then you have like some mental breakdown and you're like oh like this isn't gonna work out for me and then you move a couple steps forward and then it's like that like it's going to be up and down and up and down and that's okay but when you have a setback when you fall off the horse how fast can you get back on how fast can you pull yourself together emotionally and be like like, you know what? I got this. Like, I'm going to look at this neutrally and I know that I'm still on course. Like, this setback is a part of strengthening me, is a part of solidifying these new habits, is a part of solidifying this new version of herself. So that is it for this video, guys. I really hope this video helped you out in any way. If it did, please let me know in the comments below. I love to hear back from you guys. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this and hit the bell button to be notified every time I publish a new video. Feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may want to hear and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!